Okay, I just want to show you guys my technique on printing PETG. This PETG here is clear. It's made by Isan. I have the same one here in black. You can see Isan 1.75 millimeter. And I had a problem before where this part would print okay for right about this height. And then the front would peel out, would lift up, and it would just ruin the whole part. There was one that actually completed the whole part, but the whole front was lifted and looked really bad. So now I think I finally figured out how to make it stick. As you can see, I'm just printing on just bare glass. So what I do is I use hairspray just on glass. And you wait, you spray it on, just a thin layer. And then you wait like five minutes to make it and then you touch it a little bit and then see if it, it it's tacky it takes about like five minutes to make it tacky and once it's tacky you're ready to print let me just show you my settings real quick 249 on the nozzle at celsius and zero um, um my heated bed is it's not heated it's just room temp right now 23 celsius uh so what I did was you just gotta make sure there's no air blowing on one side uh, of your part. What happened was on my part, on my printer, I have a fan right here for my power supply and it's always blowing air. And I noticed that air would blow right here by the by, by my right, right side of the bed. Right there. And it would always lift right in that area. And finally figured it out when I put my hand over here, there was a strong air blowing right by the front, and it would always lift over there. Even though the bed's not heated, it would always lift up. And then now I covered it just with a piece of paper. Don't worry, it's still blowing to the right. You can feel the air here, but not on the on the print. So it's not it's not gonna overheat the power supply. So now, as you can see, try to get this in focus. It's perfectly flat. No warping at all. This is printing at 45 millimeters per second on the fastest setting. And on the walls, on the outside perimeters, I think it's at 30 millimeters per second. Printing at 100% info. And 0.2 millimeter layer height. Uh, I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Printing on my Orbot, homemade Orbot. That's my mini one for quick jobs. And I have a big one over there, 12 by 12 by 12. Now I decided not to print on heat because, on heated bed, because my big one, my heated bed is busted. Um, uh, I think I just have to replace it. Anyway, that one, the heated bed on that one's not working. So I just want to keep everything consistent. So I want to print PETG in non-heated bed, even though people say heat it to like 60 or 80 or something like that Celsius. I just decided to go and just experiment until I get the settings right. And as you can see, if you get the settings just right, it will it'll be perfect. You can print PETG without a heated bed. All right.